what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be looking at combining files together with inside of a folder option and so with this we have to consider what is brought in when we combine files together now remember in order to combine files together they need to have the same data structure same column name, same data typing in order for this to work properly. So we're going to start off in the Power BI desktop and we're going to bring in a folder that has a couple files in it and see what's provided to us when we go to combine files. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Power BI desktop and I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to select the get data icon here to bring up a full list of our data sources. And you can see here in the first screen that the folder option is going to be available. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the folder option and I'm gonna go ahead and connect. Now you're gonna choose the folder that you're accessing. It's gonna ask you for a folder path. And so I'm gonna find the folder that I've set up for this demonstration. And I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Now it's going to give you a preview of the data that's available inside of this folder. You can see I have two different files here and they contain several different pieces of information, the content, the name, extension, when it was accessed, modified, when it was created in the folder path as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click transform data. So one of the things that you need to recognize is the main pieces of information here are the content. So this is the content that's located inside of the file. So whatever the information is, but additionally, you also have this attributes column as well. The attribute column is going to contain the metadata information. So if you select the cell where the attribute is, you can see down here at the bottom, if I expand it, that this is going to be all of the metadata associated to this file. And so it's important to understand the requirements that you're being asked inside of these test prep questions. So if I simply just combine this together, so if I combine these files together here, what you're gonna notice is that it's going to create this single table or query and it's going to have the data available and so it's asking me here for a preview file so I'm just selecting this first one here I'm gonna click OK so you can see now that it has combined the two together here and I have a list of all of my content it's just a list of names here with inside of this Excel file so one of the things that you have to recognize is that if you combine the files with the content you're gonna be able to see everything that's in there so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete these steps and I'm going to go back to our original file here. So one of the things that we want to recognize is that if we just want the metadata of the information that's going to be located in the attributes column here. And so if we do not want to have access to the content or the information with inside of it, we need to remove this content column because the content column is going to contain all of the information that's with inside of that file. So if we just want the metadata, that's going to be the attributes column here inside of the Power Query. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The test prep question says that you have a folder that contains 50 JSON files. You need to use Power BI Desktop to make the metadata of the files available in a single data set. The solution must not store the data of the JSON files. What type of data source should you use and which transformation should you perform? So as always, let's look at some of the important pieces of information here. The first one is here at the top that we have a folder that contains 50 JSON files. And so as we think about this, one of the things that kind of pops in your mind is, oh, this is a JSON file. Perfect. So your first inclination would be, oh, my data source is going to be JSON. But the key piece of information here is that we have a folder. 
So the folder option here is going to allow us to combine these files together into a single data set, which is also one of the requirements. This needs to be a single data set, and it also says that it needs to contain the metadata of the files. So it wants the metadata in a single data set. The other key piece of information here is that you must not store the data of the JSON file. So as we're thinking about this, if we were to connect directly into a single JSON file, we would then have to add every single file, all 50 files inside of the Power BI desktop. So we would have to go to each individual file located in that folder and connect to that JSON file. That is going to be a very long process. And so as we look at our data source type here, we have folder, JSON, and text CSV. Well, text CSV can be eliminated immediately because we know that they're JSON files. But because it told us that this is inside of a folder, we would not import each of those 50 files into our Power BI desktop. So the JSON data source type would be incorrect. The correct one would be the folder option, which allows us to connect into all 50 JSON files at one time. Additionally, as we look at the transformation, we can see pieces of information that kind of hint towards the folder option as well, and that is this word attribute and content. So when you see attribute and content, this should give you an idea that we're going to be combining using the folder option. And so this is also just an indicator that our first option for data source type, the folder, is correct because it's telling us there's going to be an attribute column, there's going to be a content column, and that is indicative of the folder data source type. So we know our first answer is correct. Now moving on to the transformation, we have to think about what information they want to display. So we saw if we just combine the files of the content column, we're gonna be able to see all of the data that's stored inside those files. And one of the key pieces of information here at the top is we must not store the data of the JSON file. This is clear in our parameter. So we cannot combine the content column because it's going to allow whoever connects into this data set to see that content. And additionally, when we think about how we're going to transform this data, if we want to keep the metadata, remember the metadata here, this is located inside of the attribute column. So because it's located in the attribute column, the second option down here, delete the attribute column, is not going to be what we want to do because we want to keep the metadata. So then how do we preserve the metadata but not store the data of the JSON file? The correct answer would be to delete the content column. So the correct answer here would be to delete the content column therefore eliminating the ability for people to see the information with inside of this data set. The only thing that they're gonna have access to is the attribute column which contains the metadata. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.